Now joining me from London, I'm excited to welcome Claire Hillier, Partner Lead for Customer Experience Partners at Amazon Web Services, and Robin Harrison, CMO of WebHelp. Let's take a minute for you two to introduce yourselves. Robin, Claire? Hi, April, and a big thank you to you and the lovely people at Centrical for having me at uh, Success 2022. So as you said, I'm the Group Chief Marketing Officer for WebHelp. Um, I've come through customer experience management through a marketing and a digital route, and, and actually I worked for WebHelp's consulting business before I worked for the group. Um, for those of you who don't know WebHelp, we're a leading global customer experience BPO, um, and we work with eight out of the top 10 brands globally and consistently ranked as a leader by the major analysts. But most relevant to this, I was also part of the development team for something we call WebHelp Anywhere. So WebHelp Anywhere was when we set out to answer the question, of how we could help our clients design flexible, scalable, future-ready um, customer operations for their organizations, and to help them access the talent they need in the context of today's challenging sourcing and retention environment. Now, at WebHelp, we talk about creating game-changing customer journeys. With WebHelp Anywhere, um, and with the support of partners like Centrical, we think we've done just that. That's so great to hear, Rob, and thank you so much. And Claire, why don't we pass it to you? Thanks, April, and thanks for inviting me here today. Um, so I'm Claire Hellier. I have been working with Contact Centre Technologies probably for the last 25 years um, and recently joined AWS, recently in the last two and a half years, working primarily with Amazon Connect and taking on a role that looks after partners that focus on customer experience. So Amazon Connect is our central contact center technology, but we also have a lot of AI and ML technologies around it. And I look after a lot of those partners, including yourselves, um, to really drive customer improvements for our clients. That's so great. And we're so excited to partner with both of you on this exciting journey. So let's just jump into the questions. And Claire, I'd love to start with you. For people who aren't familiar with Amazon Connect, can you share a little bit more about what it is and the value that it brings to your customers? Thanks for that, April. I think the place to start with Amazon Connect is to understand where it came from. And it comes very much from the fact that Amazon.com required a contact center. And many years ago, they went out to market to look at what is the best contact center technology around and found that it was lacking in the marketplace for what they wanted, so they decided to build their own. After about a decade of using it internally, they decided that what they would do is bring it to market. And that was driven by many of our own customer execs saying, how do you handle your contact center? And we explained we had our own and then decided that actually we would bring it to market and make it available to everyone. And one of the things that's been great is we've recently had a Forrester total economic impact of Amazon Connect. And I think it shows that we actually really achieved great success because it's shown that we have 241% ROI for Amazon Connect over and above other contact center technologies. So it really shows that by building our own and creating something new and cloud-based, it's brought a lot of value to people. So a couple of the reasons for that is we've brought a very different pricing model to the scenario, and that's enabled us to provide customers with pay-as-you-go. So, for example, and I'll use Amazon, we have around 70,000 contact center agents and we scale up overnight for things like Prime Day to over 100,000. So that enables us to scale up for a peak time, leave the agents there for as long as they're required and then scale back down again so that customers don't have to pay for technology that they don't need. There's also the ability when you look at the market today, We've been through a lot of changes and you do need to be able to have agents anywhere. And because of cloud it enables you to have an agent wherever they are, so long as they've got a browser and a headset with them, they can actually log in and be part of the customer service team. And then the other area is um, an evergreen capability. So because it's cloud, we actually enable people to have all the features that are available and as new ones are added, there's no downtime for our customers. They can just have a tick box capability every time we bring out new, better and improved functionality. That's so great. And I love that that innovation was inside out and 241% is super impressive. So congratulations to you. And speaking of that 
you know, that notion of anywhere. I'd love, you know, Robin, to, to switch the conversation to you now. I know WebHelp recently made an exciting announcement with WebHelp Anywhere. Can you tell us a little bit more about the vision behind it and what you think the expected impact will be on employees and customers? Sure. So um, it was interesting uh, listening to Claire there talk about flexibility and scalability because it's one of the key principles behind WebHelp Anywhere. But if I quickly describe what it does, uh, and then perhaps I'll set the context and, and come back to describing it in a bit more detail. So WebHelp Anywhere is two things, really. It's a codified methodology to help you design a, a customer experience operating model, but it's also then a platform to help you deliver that operating model in practice. So uh, at the moment, actually, a lot of the use cases around how clients can reach or access um, new pools of talent. So I'll come back to the platform and methodology in a moment. It's worth setting the context. So um, we ran a piece of research with Frost and Sullivan, and we spoke to a 1,000 CX leaders um, across the world. I think it was at something like 1,221, but don't quote me on that. Um, but what they told us was really interesting. So firstly, 98% of those leaders are going to transform their operations over the next 24 months, which is an astounding statistic, really. But I think there's been quite a hiatus in major change uh, or, or, or holistic change in customer operations because of everything that's happened over the last couple of years. Um, and secondly, and perhaps it's no surprise to hear this, that 90% of those people consider that actually work from home is going to be a part, a permanent part of their operation going forward. And finally, the other statistic that I pick out from that research is that 70% of those, that same group, think that employees are going to be able to choose how they want to work in the future. So if I come back to WebHelp anywhere now in that context, um, WebHelp actually already had a work from home capability and we've had it for many years, um, which put us in quite a fortunate situation if you, you wind back the clock to 2019. But what we didn't see and what we haven't seen in the market was the ability to integrate these new working models in an intelligent way. How do you really bring um, virtual working, work from home or hybrid working into the on-site environment combined with the on-site environment um, onshore, nearshore, and offshore. It's quite a complex puzzle, and all of that has to be enabled by technology. Um, so, so the Anywhere methodology is a consulting-led approach. There's about 50 decisioning criteria so that um, clients, brands can understand um, when and how to deploy and combine those different operating model options. So it's quite complex, uh, but it does make the complex simple, and it gives a series of criteria based on um, different aspects of a client's business, their appetite for change, um, the markets they want to serve, the talent they need to access, their risk appetite, um, and also clearly any compliance or um, regulated operations they might be running. So it's quite a comprehensive methodology. And then, of course, you come up with a new design, you come up with a new operating model, and, and the theory behind that is that enables you to service your customers better, enables you to deliver a better experience for your employees, um, and a, and enables a better overall value proposition from an experience perspective for your business or for your brand. But you've then got to deliver it. So we combine our location footprint. So I think now we're in 57 countries and counting, and that's one of the largest in the, uh, the CX PPO industry with what we call our Web Help Anywhere platform, um, which enables consistent experience um, no matter how spread out your operation or what working models they're in for employees, for customers, but also for people running the operations. So you can see consistent data across that mix and across your business. And we call that the Anywhere platform, that second bit. Well, that's super exciting. And I think both the methodology and the execution is so needed, especially in this time where companies are transforming and, and knowing that you know remote is, is here to stay. So the, the Anywhere concept is for sure needed. I'd love to you know go and, and to make this conversation go a little bit deeper. And Claire, you know, as we think about what Robin just said, with employees being able to work from anywhere, a challenge that a lot of companies are facing is effectively managing remote teams. You've spoken in the past about the power of using quality and sentiment data analysis to be able to enable those insights for managers. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I know this is a topic that's close to your heart. Yeah. Yes, it is. So I think one of the things that we end up with when somebody's working from home is we lose the ability to 
sit at a desk and sit close to somebody and see how well they're performing. And so what becomes really important is the data that you can collect. And one of the things that the AWS solution and Amazon Connect is very strong on is the amount of data that you collect. And then when you take that data, you can convert that into KPIs. And actually, those are the things that are then connected through with Centrical and can be brought into the Centrical solution system. So first of all, there's the collecting of the data. But then there's the how do we get the insights out of that data? And that's where artificial intelligence and machine learning and the great technologies along those lines can really start to help drive some, some solutions. So I quite often like to just step outside the contact center arena just to explain a little bit about AI and ML and some of the data that a couple of years old now, but I got from MIT was when you actually take it and look at it from uh, some research that they did and they did it around x-rays and cancer research. If the consultant looked at an x-ray, they could actually tell whether somebody had cancer to about a 3.5% error rate. So they were pretty accurate. When you actually got the systems and the AI that was trained to do the job to do that, it could take it to a sort of level of 7.5% error rate. But the really ingenious thing is when you combine together the consultant and the AI, they were getting to a 0.5 error rate. So for me, that's a phenomenal outcome. And that is, to me, the, where we want to take AI and ML in the contact center. It's how do we bring the data in and give it to the managers, the supervisors, and the agents, such that what we're doing is providing the very best customer service to maybe a 0.5% error rate that enables them to look at how do we empower agents, help them reduce the time of calls, help them increase the time of first call rates, but then also have the supervisor who is now remote able to understand that one agent is great at this and another perhaps needs some coaching and exactly where. So we've brought out some technologies, one of which is called Contact Lens, which sits alongside Amazon Connect and it transcribes a telephone call and it can do this either historically or in real time. So there's two features here. One, if you go with the real time solution, it will then run AI and ML on that real time transcription. So if an agent needs coaching in call, that can be flagged immediately to the supervisor and they can give in call coaching so that that specific customer that's on the call still receives a good customer experience. And then you can also look at it from a call recording perspective and run and understand the insights across all calls, as opposed to just one in every 10 call or the three calls that were picked for um, an agent evaluation. And it's being able to take that data and that insight, pass it through to tools like Centrical that really enables the business to actually drive how they help agents and customers. That is super inspiring. And I love that there's a personalized journey and a personalized moment for the manager to be able to coach that employee in the flow of work. So thanks for sharing that, Claire. And um, it's super exciting to see our partnership there. Now, Robin, I'm going to switch over to you and, and go a little bit deeper on how Centrical is supporting that innovative delivery that you talked about with Web Help Anywhere. Sure. So firstly, I'd like to say I don't have any um, medical uh, analogies like Claire had, so I'm, I'm not sure my answer is going to be quite as good. But I'd probably like to talk about the context the platform's operating in and, and then answer your question. So if you think about what we're trying to achieve with the methodology and then the platform, we're effectively enabling complex, multi-market, multilingual customer service operations um, to deliver an answer to some of the hardest questions. So how do you deliver them in a consistent, secure, flexible way, which can respond to those peaks and troughs in demand or changes in requirements that um, you and Claire talked about earlier. Um, and to do that, we, we listen to our clients and we listen to what the biggest challenges they had were and what they weren't finding in the market. And we built Web Help Anywhere around six core modules. And those modules are technology, security, performance, resilient, talent and engagement. Um, and engagement anywhere is when Centrical comes in. So 
We know that people engagement is really important. Um, Web Help as a business has just passed 100,000 people, which is fantastically exciting. And all of those people are working with new tools, new technologies. They're augmented by AI and machine learning, of course. Um, but in a people first business, how do you make sure that you're using those tools and technologies um, to increase engagement and foster the learning and development of employees. It's really, really important that we're thinking about that all the time. Um, and we have this model called HC3, which is the happy colleagues, equal happy customers, equal happy clients, which um, may sound simple, but I guess the message is really, really important for us as a, as a people business. Um, and the importance of that engagement is really underscored when you start to think about the complex modeling of operations and how you bring together different locations, different delivery models, all enabled by technology. How do you make sure that people feel like one team when they're in dispersed locations? How do you make sure that, that um, employees are representing your brand properly? It's really important. Um, and I mean that from a provider perspective, but also a client perspective as well. Um, how do you make sure they're engaged with their roles? How do you maximize knowledge transfer? And how do you limit attrition? You know, the list goes on, but they're very, very tough questions that we're all trying to answer all the time. Um, Centrical, is one of our key partners and the key tools that enables us to answer those questions. So if I just unpick some of those, um, some of the aspects of how it helps, and, and this may be less obvious to people who aren't already working with Centrical, but you know, gamification, it keeps work interesting and fun, okay? Um, we found that that personalized learning path and the, the push notifications associated with it really drives adoption of self-paced learning, which can be harder in other environments. Um, and that micro learning aspect itself that's designed into the platform is really, really valuable in upskilling your people. And that might be a new piece of compliance. It might be a new product launch, whatever it might be. Um, and then critically, the ability to visualize all of that, not just as an advisor, um, but also as a, a team leader, a manager or operations director is really, really important. If you think about those big dispersed operations working in different environments, of course, you can start to see the performance of different teams in a snapshot, so you can understand as a leader where proactive intervention may be needed. That's really inspiring, and I think now in a time where engagement is so important, it, we're really proud to partner with you, Robin, on that, and of course you, Claire, as well. And I think that really brings us to our conversation today. So thank you so much, Robin, and to Claire for joining today. It's so exciting to see the power of connecting technology to enable employee potential and performance.